marine science students at the University of New England are deep into a shark study off the coast of Maine using underwater devices and bait to capture sharks on camera. Now a discovery by a commercial fisherman is helping with research. Joining me now is Dr. James Solikowski, the professor of marine sciences over at UNE. Dr. Shark, what's going on, my man? Not much. Thanks for having me. Uh, uh, you know, I just spoke with you uh, last week. We uh, were talking about the underwater cameras, and then this kind of new revelation about uh, a, a potential evidence of shark off the coast. Tell me a little bit about the study that you guys are doing um, with the marine students. Well, it's great. You know, University of New England is uh, it's a place where they sort of have a tagline, right? Innovations for a healthier planet. And that's kind of what we're really doing. You know, sharks live on our planet. We live on the planet. We're trying to get everybody sort of on the same page and interconnected. And uh, the study is really to find out what do we have around in our waters, you know, why are they there, and specifically white sharks. Yeah, and tell me too, uh, you guys are, do a lot of uh, research with other uh, agencies. There was right. one off of Cape Cod that yeah. uh, kind of sparked interest in this. Tell us yeah, a little bit it, about that. You know, collaboration in our field is, is essential and uh, we have a lot of work down south with uh, Dr. Greg Scomo in the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy and that really spawned sort of our study up here of, of white sharks and we knew they were up here uh, but we don't know in kind of what numbers and how often or when they show up and they're interested, we're interested, um, you know, the students and the university is interested and I think the community is interested as well. Well, I, we're getting a lot of feedback online I think people I, yeah. I saw our website actually spiked when we saw this video that you guys uh, posted to us yesterday but before we get to the discovery tell us about the, these shark cameras that we're seeing uh, where are you guys putting these cameras so they're right now they're strategically placed uh, two spots really um, one is off Stratton Island which has a big seal population and we're, we're hoping that's where we detected a white shark last year so we're hoping to kind of get that on film the other one's a little closer to shore and we know that there are sand tiger sharks swimming around in that area and so both of those species are actually you know protected and we want to know how our ecosystem um, can can help them and how we can help those sharks in our ecosystem. And how do you plan on getting the sharks close enough to the camera? Right, so that's just it. Uh, I think the important thing here is that the cameras are going to detect sharks that are already there. And what we do is we bait them. And so sharks swimming around sort of sense that bait and they go check it out. Um, so it kind of lures them away from the beach, kind of allure, it, it lures them away from the island. Uh, and hopefully we get a great little snapshot. So uh, opposite to what most people think is that the bait's bringing them closer to people on shore. No, it's, it's kind of the bait. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. kind of bringing them away, away from, away shore. from yeah. shore, away from people. And it's just detecting sharks that are already there. It's not like bringing sharks in from offshore, all these different areas. So it's just trying to get a, it's like us going to the mall. We're already there. Right, and so uh, sales at a store kind of entice us to come in, sure. right? And it's the same kind of concept. Okay, that's a good way of putting it too. All right, let's get to the discovery now. Um, so two days ago, I spoke with you. The following day on Friday, you guys got a, uh, was it a call from a commercial fisherman? Yeah, you know, it's, it's great when the community gets involved and it, it was one of those things where, hey, you know, we see something kind of strange um, just off the, the coast of uh, Wood Island, you know, Stratton Island, kind of that area. And like, oh, you know, I thought it was one of our lost receivers. And so we'll go out, check it out. And it's just, well, kind of floating around We're like oh my god you know we keep going closer check it out it's got bite marks all over it and these are big bite marks yeah uh, you know 18 inches across we're talking you know somewhere around that range and uh you know, that's a big shark and we're looking at some of the footage there really to put this in perspective how big do you think this whale was the whale we measured was about 25 feet <laughs> and uh you know the so it's a decent sized minky and when you go up there, you get an idea of really how big this thing is. And then when you see these bite marks out of it, you're like, wow, this is something pretty, pretty cool. So what did you, what did some of your students, uh, when they saw these bite marks, what was their first thought? They're like, well, I mean, this is unbelievable. Now we've got direct evidence that they're here earlier than we had anticipated. So when we have been doing this study the last couple of years, we get these detections of sharks, you know, in, Oct in August and September. And now we've got evidence in July. So we know that they're here earlier, and we know now that uh, they're big. So that's, that's a pretty good indication that our area is providing them something that they need. So when do you think you're gonna be going to check those cameras? Maybe this one possibly yeah. swim by one of the cameras? Yeah, so we're gonna deploy. The thing about the cameras is that they're deployed and they're retrieved the same day. So they only sit for about four or five hours. So again, it's kind of a needle in a haystack. Uh, and this year, really, we're seeing if they work because uh, you know, um, they may not, with, given our conditions out there. So they look like they're, they're doing their job, so we're pretty excited. Yeah, you're saying you're already seeing other species of fish 
just not the fish you guys are looking right, for exactly. yet. Right, right, yeah. So we're, uh, you know, it's great. I mean, the technology's there. It's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. We're seeing fish. We're seeing all these cool things, but we haven't snapped that, that white shark yet. So we're excited. Uh, this It'll happen. seems to be an exciting time uh, yeah. for you and E. It is. You know, UNE is right on the coast. Uh, it engages our students with hands-on experiences, and this is part of that process. And uh, you, that's the best way to learn when you're out there deploying these. I mean, my students, they built it. They're analyzing the data. Um, and it's how you get the experience that they're going to need to be successful once they get out of here. And lastly, too, I know we spoke about this. This is not to create panic. We're no. not trying to panic people. No. This is to protect sharks and also, in turn, to protect us. Exactly. So we're trying to be ahead of the curve right now um, so that we know how to handle it, we know how to predict it, we know how to integrate our behaviors in the water with the shark's behaviors in the water so that everybody can coexist. Fantastic. Well, Dr. James Solikowski, thank you so much for coming in. Really hey, appreciate it. And we're excited to see that footage. Yeah, keep, keep sending it our way. We'll do it. Uh, we'll be right back with Corey's forecast.